Ag Week TV, sponsored by Peterson Farm Seed. Welcome back to Ag Week TV. We are here at Theraldson Ethanol Plant in Castleton, North Dakota. Did you know this is the sixth largest ethanol plant in the country? Joining us now is the general manager of the plant, Ryan Carter. You guys process 54 to 56 million bushels of corn a year. It's hard to wrap your head around those numbers. It is. It's a lot of corn. We're in the process right now of uh, adding on another energy center to our facility and uh, we're hoping to go up to about 165 million gallons a year uh, within the next uh, few months. We're excited for the tour, let's go check it out. Here we are at the first step in the process, this is corn receiving. It all comes uh, within about a 100, 100 mile radius of the ethanol facility here. Uh, we do get the majority of it in by uh, truck. We also bring in shuttle cars by rail. We hold roughly uh, six and a half million bushels of corn on site. So these guys are unloading corn here and at the other end, kind of the, one of the end processes, we have distiller's grain going out. This truck over here is actually loading dried distiller's grain. That is the final co-product of the process that goes out for livestock feed. We do about 450,000 uh, tons a year of uh, distiller's grain. So one of the first steps in the process then is to grind the corn that happens here? Correct. These are the hammer mills. Uh, this is where we bring a whole kernel corn in. We pulverize it into a fine corn mill. Uh, we roughly do 147 to 150,000 bushels a day. That's a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> now we're back inside to a place where you guys call cook. Correct. This is the first step after the milling process. We go into a slurry tank. We add our corn mill, we add our aqua simonia, we add our water, and we add our alpha amylase enzyme. From there, we start filling into the fermentation process. That's where we add the rest of our ingredients. We add our yeast. The yeast will consume those sugars and they will produce an alcohol. So that, this is where we will start producing our ethanol in the process. How long does it ferment? Uh, roughly 52 hours is what we'll have for fermentation time. And now, back outside, this is the distillation process that we're seeing here. Correct, so after fermentation, we run it through distillation columns to, to vaporize the alcohol out of the mash and water. The mash and water then fall to the bottom of the first column, which we take to another tank and we get that ready for separation and drying. The alcohol then is, is got, goes through a couple more columns to strip out the water and get it up to 190 proof alcohol. Uh, from the 190 proof alcohol, we feed into the molecular sieves that are directly behind us here, and that will actually take the rest of the water out and take it up to a 200 proof alcohol, which then we get ready to start blending and shipping out for fuel grade ethanol. Okay, Ryan, what's going on here? You're loading another truck. Yep, so this is, uh, this is where we load our corn syrup. Um, it's just the solubles that we uh, produce after we evaporate the water out of the, the liquid that comes from the mashing process. Some customers that will buy it straight and blend it at their own locations, and then we also put it on our feed sources uh, that we sell for livestock, such as dried distiller's grain and wet cake. So after we get the alcohol out of the mash from the fermenters, from there we go into separation. So what we do is we run it through a centrifuge. We separate the solids and the liquids. Within that process though, we separate the corn oil out of the mid-stillage. That's just used again for another livestock supplement into the feed. Um, it also in some cases is used in biodiesel production. And now Ryan, we're standing next to some giant dryers. What's going on here? We separate the mash from the liquid. Uh, the solids then come to this building and this is where we start a process of drying into our dry distiller's grain. So we take a wet cake and we dry it down to about a 12% uh, livestock feed, which then goes out by truck or rail. We do about 450,000 tons a year out of this plant. 17 pounds of uh, DDG per bushel of corn. This is the final DDG. That's what the corn was before the uh, cook process. So after it leaves here, it goes out to the building or it goes out to the DDG silo and it's uh, ready for loadout. Theraldson Ethanol Plant is located just to the west of Castleton. Carter says it will soon be the second largest dry grind plant in the nation.